A standard deck of 52 playing cards consists of 4 suits, spades, hearts, diamonds and clubs, and with 13 cards each. So how many different 5 card hands can be formed? Okay. Well, order doesn't matter when you're putting cards in your hand here. You've got 52 cards to choose from, and we're going to choose 5. So 52, choose 5. When you go to your calculator, you'll get 2,598,960 different unique ways you can do that. Now we're just going to throw some restrictions on here. What if it's all hearts? Okay, well... There are four suits here, and there are 13 cards in each suit here. One of those suits is hearts here, so there's 13 hearts. So if I want that five card hand to be all hearts, what I gotta do here is go to that 13, uh, choose, sorry, that group of 13 cards, and I gotta choose five of them. So 13 choose five, and when you go to your calculator, that's 1,287 different ways that you can do that. Now, what if it's consisting of all face cards? Now what we mean by face cards here is of those 13 cards in every suit, three of them have faces on it, okay? So there are four different suits. In each of those, there are three of them that have faces on them. So that's 12 cards. And I'm going to choose five of them to be in this little hand that I'm dealing. When I do that, I get 792 different hands that have just face cards on them. Okay. This next restriction here says, what if it consists of three hearts and two spades. Okay, well, so I have to choose hearts, so 13 choose three of those hearts, and then I've got to choose spades, and again, there are 13 spades, and I want two of them, so 13 choose three for the hearts, and 13 choose two for the spades. It turns out there's a bunch more here, there's 22,308, so all of a sudden, there's a lot more of these than there are of the last couple that we've been looking at. Now, to have exactly, to have exactly uh, a three hearts here, the, the issue here now is what we're gonna do here is we're gonna choose three hearts from that group of 13. But once we've done that, we don't wanna choose from the, the hearts anymore. So we wanna choose from the remaining cards. Now, if there's 52 cards and we get rid of 13, that leaves us with 39 left over. And from that group of 39, we still need to choose two cards. So again, these two numbers are adding up to the total group that we're choosing from. These two numbers are ch adding up to the total group that we're, that we're choosing. Now in the previous question, it was the same thing, except we were restricted to just hearts and spades. So that's really just 26 cards that we're looking at. We split those up into two equal groups. This one isn't equally split up, but we're looking at the hearts, and then we're looking at the leftovers here. And when we go to our calculator and enter that in, we'll get 211,926 different unique hands that have three hearts in them, exactly three hearts.